Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to go ahead and take a look at creating a drop cap effect um, using the CSS3 pseudo element selector first letter. Uh, this is an effect that works in pretty much all of the modern browsers uh, these days. So let's jump over into Dreamweaver and take a look at how we can do this. So here in Dreamweaver I have this area of my site. You can see I've just set off a, a heading here, just drop cap letters. Uh, beneath this we're going to add a little bit of text. So I'm actually going to jump into my browser and I'm going to go to html-ipsum.com and I'm going to grab a couple of these long paragraphs. So I can just select in there, Command or Control A and copy that. Jump back over to Dreamweaver. I'm going to jump into Code View. There's my H2 right there, drop cap letters, a CSS3. So right beneath that, I'm going to paste one, two, let's go with three paragraphs down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit the first letter. So the first letter here is a P. I'm going to make it a W. Uh, the first letter here is a P again. Um, I'm actually going to replace this whole word with, let's just say, ready. And then this whole word here, I'm going to replace with happy. So we have a W, an R, and an H uh, that are our main letters, or, or our first letters, I should say. So right down here, W, R, H, and our drop cap is going to affect only those first letters of each paragraph. So the important thing to note here is we have paragraphs set off by our P tag, right? So we've got opening and closing P tag. So what we're going to use the CSS to do is say, hey, within every P tag or every paragraph, we just want you to target the first letter and apply this CSS code to it. So however you're writing your CSS code, go to your CSS document. This is my CSS document, um, or if you're writing the CSS up in the head portion of your site, just scroll up to the top of the page and you can add it. Uh, however you've been adding CSS to your website. And we're going to begin by saying P, so we're going to target paragraph. I'm just going to add a line there. Colon, first, uh, hyphen, letter and then open curly bracket, enter return a couple times, close curly bracket, and there we go. We've got our CSS selecting the first letter within each paragraph. So now within this, we're going to do a couple things. The first thing I'm going to do is just say display block, and also I'm going to float this. Whoops, if I can spell the word float. I'm going to float it to the... Yeah, I'm going to float it to the left. There we go. L E F T left. Um, now that I've done that, this isn't really going to make much of a difference. So I'm going to save my CSS document. If I jump back out here and refresh my page, you can see it doesn't look like anything's changed. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to begin setting some more visual styles. We're going to begin by changing the size of the font and then adjusting the line height to really allow uh, our font to line up with the rest of the type. So let's let's adjust the font size first and then I'll show you what I mean with the line height. So we're going to go font size and I want it to sort of be relative to the size of the type on the site. Um, now presumably your paragraph type is all going to be the same so you could go with the pixel size here but I'm going to go with M's so I'm going to say three M's and semicolon. Save that. Let's jump back out here and see what we've got. And you can see well all the paragraphs across our page are getting uh, the first letter enlarged. But here we've got a W, an R, and an H. And you can see the rest of our paragraph is fine. But the problem is, well the problem I'm having now, well a couple problems. First of which is the top of my W is not aligned with the top of that first line of type. So we're going to use line height to fix that. So I'm going to say line hyphen height. Whoops line hyphen height and here again I'm going to use M's so let's just go with one M to start and see what this looks like save this and go back out and refresh and that looks pretty good it might be a little bit high so I'll come in here and I'm going to say 0 0.9 M's save that and there we go that looks good um, so line height 0 0.9 M is what I'm going to roll with here and the next thing we're going to do is if you take a look we're really running into these letters. So I'm thinking if we add a little bit of padding to this first letter, that'll be good as well. So just give a little space between that first letter and where the rest of the text in the paragraph actually starts. So let's go ahead and just say uh, padding zero. So we're setting the top and bottom padding to zero. We don't need any additional padding there uh, or any padding for that matter. And then the left right padding, we're going to set to 10 pixels. So something like that looks good. Let's save that. Let's jump back out, refresh, and you can see we've got a little bit of space happening uh, around our letter. So we're really starting to pull this together. Ready, and then the rest of all of our lorem ipsum. Happy, and the rest of our paragraph. Great. 
Uh, the last thing that we can do is just finish this off by adding some color and maybe make it, you know, italicizing or making the first letter bold. So this is also a breeze. Let's start with color, and I have the hex code written down here. The hex code that I'm going for is BF25. 3C. This is sort of the muted red uh, that we've got here in our H2 tags. So we're going to mimic that color. And I'm also going to set a font weight. So let's make, uh, whoops, if I can spell it. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Font weight, there we go. Bold. Having some spelling issues today, apparently. All right, I'm going to save this CSS document. So what we've got here, we're displaying it as a block level element to break it out of uh, the inline. You can see if we uh, try to highlight it, it doesn't quite highlight like the rest of the text. So we're breaking it out of the normal flow of the text. Then we're saying, all right, now that you're your own little blocked element, float left so the text will flow around you. Everything is going to look great. Uh, then we're changing the font size. We're boosting it up. Then we're setting the line height. And this is all going to depend on your, your text size. But we're setting the line height so that our text roughly aligns with the top of the rest of the text. In fact, we might want to knock it down a little bit more. Uh, we're killing off top and bottom padding and applying a little bit of padding left and right, setting a color, and making our text bold. So I'm going to refresh this. And you're going to see, there we go, some bold, red-colored first letters. And the rest of the paragraph assumes the normal uh, paragraph CSS styles that we've set for this website. So that's it. That is the first letter pseudo element in CSS. It's actually really a CSS3 uh, edition, if you will. And that's how it works. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure you go check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com for more free video tutorials. Thanks for watching.